The Rocky Report, brought to you by AMP, Avidas Group, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Montana, Bob Smith Motors, EBMS, First Interstate Bank, Montana Tobacco Quit Line at 1-800-QUIT-NOW, Northwestern Energy, Tyrama, Yellowstone Bank, and your local Ford store. And now, from Pizza Hut on 16th and Grand, your host, Bruce Parker. Hi, everybody, and welcome to The Rocky Report. I'm Bruce Parker, coming to you from Pizza Hut on 16th and Grand in Billings. Well, a great weekend for Batlin Bear Athletics as the volleyball team goes on the road to Michigan, wins the tournament they're in. The women's basketball team wins three games. The men's soccer team and women's soccer team have great success in the Northwest, and football had an outstanding game against the Montana Tech Ore Diggers. We're going to talk with coaches Brian Armstrong, cross country and track and field coach Mike McLean and basketball coach for the men Bill Drykosen have highlights and much much more stay with us up next on the Rocky Report at Pizza Hut we've got a carry out deal just for you any pizza any size any crust and any topping for just 10 bucks you want a large hand tossed pepperoni and mushroom $10 or maybe you're a large pan supreme kind of person $10 thinking about a combination of your own well that's $10 too that's any pizza, any size, any crust, and any topping for just 10 bucks. And get stuffed crust for just two bucks more. This 10 buck carryout deal ends soon. So hurry to Pizza Hut today. My name's Charlie and I've been rodeoing for about 12 years. You learn to love it and you grow up with it all the time and you have to get hooked on a rodeo by somebody and that's your family. When I lost my granddad, it was pretty rough. Everybody loved him so much and if he didn't smoke, he'd probably still be here. Athletes try to stay in the best of shape as they can, and smoking's not gonna get you there. So I decided to stand up and help the Montana Rodeo that I love break away from tobacco. Our physicians and athletic trainers have been building better athletes for over 20 years. We are the official sports medicine provider to the Billings Mustangs, MSUB Yellow Jackets, and Rocky Mountain College Battle and Bears. AMP ensures that athletes of all ages and skill levels receive the training and medical care for top performance and to stay healthy. AMP, Athletic Medicine and Performance, powered by St. Vincent Healthcare, Ortho, Montana, and Yellowstone Surgery Center. The Batlin Bears and the Ore Diggers of Montana Tech, let's take a look at the highlights. An intense matchup began right away as Montana Tech would score first on Rocky early in the first quarter. But the Bears would respond as Chase White would throw a short touchdown pass to Kalen Reed, but the PAT was no good, score now 7-6. The Ore Diggers would respond as number 25 Zach Bunny would post 6 on an outside sweep. Tech would then catch Rocky off guard. On the ensuing kickoff, the Ore Diggers would go for an onside kick and easily recover it. This would cost the Bears as number 34 Zach Winfield of Montana Tech would be wide open on the wheel route and run it in for an easy 46-yard touchdown. Tech up on Rocky 21-6. Chase White would then bring Rocky back into the game, finding Andre McCullough wide open, completing a 46-yard touchdown pass. Score now 21-13. The Ore Diggers wouldn't be phased as Nolan Saracini would march right into the end zone, putting Tech up 28-13. Chase White would continue to connect long passes with McCullough as he throws another touchdown, bringing the Bears closer to Tech. Score now 28-23. Rocky's offense would later get in field goal range and tack on three, score now 28 to 26. Tech would extend their lead by once again handing the ball off to Saracini, and the Ore Diggers would tack on a field goal as well, taking a 38 to 26 lead at halftime. Not much would happen at all in the second half except the Bears offense would march down the field and finish off their drive with a short touchdown run up the middle by Cody Varner, narrowing the score 38-33. Rocky's offense would attempt to mount one last drive but were unable to convert a crucial first down and ended up punting the ball. The Batlin Bear defense would hold the Ore Diggers to zero points in the second half, but Rocky would not mount enough scoring drives, falling to Tech with a final score of 38-33. to And welcome back. 
We're joined now by head football coach Brian Armstrong, who had a tough loss uh, on homecoming day at uh, Herb Clint Field, the Rocky Bowl, losing to Montana Tech 38-33. A good football game, Brian. I know you're disappointed with the, with the game, but I thought you played uh, really well in the game, especially in that second half. Defensively, we were much better the second half. Uh, and, and again, second half of defense, really, I thought they did a good job of adjusting to some of the things we had done well. And, uh, some of our youth on the offensive line showed in the second half with some of the pressures they were bringing but our defense, you know, really stepped up and gave us a chance to, to be in it in the second half. For yeah, sure. you know, that first half, they came, did they do something that surprised you? I mean, they, they ran the ball a lot and uh, Saraceni, of course, an outstanding running back out of Billings Senior. Well, they had showed Wildcat and so we were prepared for some of that now that they played two kids, a quarterback that we'd never seen before and so they had a lot more scheme out of it than we had we had ever seen and, and you know tip of the hat to them they did a great job of playing fast and executing it in the bye week they had so they had two weeks to work on it and and they did a good job with it so so kudos to their staff and their players for doing a good job yeah that preparation time really pays off doesn't it it does when you have that much time your football team you, know, you scored pretty well you i thought the offense played well chase white had a good first half yeah you know uh First half, I don't think we punted the ball one time. Uh, I think we scored on every possession, save one. Um, and, uh, you know, really with the exception of a turnover, a fumble on the last uh, offensive play of the first half for us, you know, I thought we played really well. Uh, and that turnover proved to be costly because they kicked a field goal. And in that situation at the end of the game, we're not trying to score a touchdown, we're trying to kick a field goal. And we've got a darn good kicker and the wind at our back. So, uh, there's some stuff we need to get cleaned up, but uh, I mean the kids are playing hard and we're playing relatively well. It's just you know in this league it's going to come down to two or three critical snaps, and and they made them and, and we didn't. Evan Conley, you mentioned your kicker, a former soccer player who uh, had a career best 49 yarder. You didn't even hes hesitate. You just sent the field goal team out on the field. You have some confidence there. Yeah, yeah. He uh, you know he's got plenty of leg. That one probably wouldn't again been good for much more yesterday, <laughs> but. Uh, but he's made some practice that are quite a bit longer than that one. Yeah, and a beautiful day at uh, Herb Clint Field and a great crowd on hand to watch homecoming. Yeah, it was a good crowd and I think it was an entertaining game. Unfortunately, we didn't get the outcome we hoped for, but uh, I think it was an exciting game to watch anyway. And injury-wise, came out of it pretty pretty, pretty well. Well, uh, got a rolled ankle, I think, and hopefully we'll see today when he comes in for treatment how that is. But other than that, I think that was about it. All right, we'll move on. We'll take a break, come back, and we'll talk about what's up next, and that's the College of Idaho out in uh, Caldwell, Idaho, a trip for the Batlin Bears. Stay with us. As we go to break, we'll take a look at what happened around the Frontier and Cascade Conferences. As a driven business owner, you want to pursue your dream, not worry about administrative chores, employee benefits, and HR. With the Vetus Group, you don't have to. We'll provide the solutions you need. Everything from payroll and taxes to online marketing and IT. For each and every operational need, a Vetus Group has an entire team of diverse, specialized professionals. Follow your dream. Leave the logistics to us. Time is now. This is Northwest Truck Month. Find out how numbers like these give Super Duty the capability to tackle the toughest jobs and why it's been America's best selling truck 38 straight years. Hey, here's a few more impressive numbers for you. During Northwest Truck Month, get up to 5,000 cash back on Super Duty. See your local Ford store today. Get you there. Tirerama and Cooper Tires are driving home the savings this fall. Now through October 31st, when you buy a set of four qualifying Cooper Tires at Tirerama, you'll get up to a $70 prepaid Visa card back by mail. Take the money and ride this fall with Tirerama and Cooper Tires, starting August 28th through the end of October. See your local Tirerama for details. Tirerama, more than just a tire store. Well, we're back and joined by head football coach Brian Armstrong and the Batlin Bears are on the road this week to Idaho. 
it's not a potato trip. It's a, the College of Idaho, a, a very good football team, a team that's kind of been a little bit like this, Brian. Uh, they've they've had some big wins and they've had some tough losses. Yeah, they're uh, they're you know they're a very solid football team, and I I really believe, with the exception of maybe one team, anybody can beat anybody in this league on any given day. And, you know, they've been in every game. They haven't won a little bit like us, haven't won as many as they would like to, but uh, they're competing and they're in any, every game. And uh, we haven't been down to uh, to their place yet. Uh, we didn't go last year. And so I hear it's uh, a great atmosphere, pretty big time atmosphere. They draw well. And so uh, excited to see what it's all about. Are you surprised with the way the things have gone in the Frontier Conference? I think most of the, the, the road teams won last week. so. That's, you know, that's a positive as you head on the road this week. Yeah, and we played pretty well on the road all year, I thought. Um, so, you know, hopefully we'll be able to rebound, a little bit of a setback, gives us a chance for a comeback. And, uh, you know, I always think that probably a little bit more focused on the road. Again, it's not nothing else to focus on besides a bus ride and some movies and, <laughs> and football. So uh, a little bit togetherness, you know, you're in a hotel and things like that. So You do get some bus time in this road, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So uh, this will be... Uh, a little bit shorter than the Eastern trip, and we handled that all right. So uh, we'll take off Friday morning and be there Friday evening. Wild, wacky frontier. I mean, you could call it lots of different names, but uh, last week Carroll loses at home. Um, Western Montana Western loses at home. Uh, are they surprising? Are these games surprising? You know, I don't know that any. Like I said, I don't know that anything really surprises me. It's just, I mean, really every week it's who takes care of the football, who can create a turnover, who can make a, you know, it's two or three critical plays and you never know which ones they are, but it's who is making those that are making the difference. Now you won on the road the last trip all the way out to Eastern Oregon. Um, why does your football team play so well on the road? Well, I just think, I think overall probably the most, I mean, depending, if you're going to Southern Oregon, it's 24 hours one way, it's maybe yeah. a little bit different, but, uh, but uh, you know, I just think again, you're, you're secluded, you're together, uh, for a longer period of time, team hotel, there's less distractions. Um, I think that probably has as much to do with it as anything. This is a big game for you. You know, the, the league's still kind of bunched up a little bit, Tech and, and Southern on top, but everybody else is right there. Is this a, the rest of the season the type of season where you need to win out to, if you're going to win the league or get in the playoffs? I would think we'd have to win out to give ourselves a chance. And, you know, the way it's set up, I don't know how that would work out anyway. That's really not our focus at this time. I mean, we're just focused on College of Idaho and going 1-0 and this week. So. And you had a big win against them last year. Yeah, we did. We had, a, we had a good win against them last year, and I think they're much improved. So uh, we're expecting a good game. Hey, enjoy the bus trip. Sounds good. And get a win. All right. We'll talk about it next week. Head football coach Brian Armstrong, they'll battle the College of Idaho Saturday in Caldwell, Idaho. We're going to take a break. Lots going on. Football, basketball, volleyball, soccer, everything going on for the Batman Bears. Let's take a look. Sometimes there's ones I just can't find But they found a home with you And when I think about the things that we've been through I know just one thing is true Life is better with you Whoa, whoa Life is better with you My grandfather had a vision To build a car dealership way out in the west end of Billings On 24th and Central all that was there was a Kmart, Sage Drive-In, and Stewart Barn, even before Rimrock Mall. Now Billings has grown up around us, and we're still here. The Lincoln brand was strong then, and is stronger today than it's ever been. He was Bob Smith. We are Bob Smith. It's not just a name, it's a way of doing business. Upgrade. It means your day just got better. That's the idea behind First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. With every purchase, you earn points you can use to upgrade just about any aspect of your life. Even better, rewards come from your world, your neighbors, your favorite local businesses. It's the difference between dining out and dining out in style. Your style. First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. Your style, your rewards. 
Well, welcome back to the Rocky Report. We're joined now by basketball coach Bill Drykosen of the Rocky Mountain College Batland Bears. And basketball season has started. It starts for Coach Drykosen this week. And Bill, good to have you here and a lot of excitement about this season. Yeah, I appreciate it. We're looking forward to getting going and, um, you know, it's going to be a process like every year, but we're excited about this year's team. And you have some key returnees back that uh, have some experience going to the national tournament. Yeah, you know, uh, Taylor and um, Rob and Ben and Stoltz, you know, different guys that have uh, logged minutes out there at the national tournament and actually, you know, done some really good things. So we're excited about that experience in our program. So you've been going a couple weeks now, practice, 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 trying to get ready for this weekend's Craig Finberg Memorial Tournament down in Dillon. Uh, what do you try to accomplish early in trying to get these teams ready to play? Yeah, I think you really try to set a foundation, uh, especially on the defensive end. Every kid wants to play offense. You know, <laughs> you don't have to teach as much offense as you do defense because if you don't start right now and really try to instill a foundation defensively uh, and playing hard and, and really try to, you know, get into the kids that way as far as uh, setting them up for success later. You know, if you don't play defense now, you're not going to be able to find that defensive mode in January and February when you really need it. Now, it's pretty early in the season. Football is still going on, cross country, soccer, uh, volleyball, and you're starting the basketball season. And uh, what do you try to accomplish in these early season tournaments where I think this week you play Northwest uh, Indian University and, and Lethbridge, a good Canadian team. So what do you try to get done? Yeah, I think it's no different really than any other game. I mean, you got to get out there and go against different people and, and see where you need to improve, see what areas you need to work on. Uh, the greatest thing about going against different people is, uh, you know, you don't know exactly what they're going to throw at you. And so it'll help prepare you for, for games down the road. But, uh, you know, every game is as important as the next game. You know, the most important game is the next game or this game that you're playing, not necessarily the first conference game or last conference game, it's the game that you're playing. So and we really got to focus hard on trying to improve uh, each possession and each game with this team. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you went to the national tournament last year, had a great season. You lost some very, very good seniors. Let's talk about some of your newcomers that you brought in. Yeah, I really like the kids that we've brought in. We uh, got uh, Trenton Pollard out of Okanaka, Onaka Ramsey in, in Minnesota, very good guard, really like his leadership skills and his ability uh, to score the basketball and see the floor. And we have Jelani Hardaway uh, uh, out of Diablo Valley. I had a kid earlier a long time ago from Steve down there and he's going to do a good job. He's an athletic guard for us. And then uh, we got Terry Lee Wedgworth out of uh, Colorado Northwestern, and he's another good guard. And then we, of course, have Danny Betcher from right here in Billings, uh, who's you know really doing a good job for us and working extremely hard. So we got some really good key additions uh, in newcomers that we think can you know definitely help us. And Betcher, outstanding season at Billings West last year for Kelly Dara. Uh, does he have to come in and maybe play as a freshman? Yeah, yeah. Um, Danny's going to play, and you know, so it's a it's a big learning curve for him. It's kind of like you know drinking from a fire hydrant, but. I really like his attitude and I um, really like his effort. He's a great kid and we look forward to not only this year but every future uh, year with Danny here in our program. Now, you do any scouting on this? You get to go down, you get to watch Montana Western play and see what Coach Keller has down there. Is this kind of a scouting opportunity as well? Yeah, I mean, I think it gives you a little bit of an idea of, oh, yeah, this is what they did bring in and this is what they've added and so on. But, you know, I think my model for our program has always been you know, uh, be prepared for the other team, but stay focused on ourselves. And so, you know, we'll mostly be down there trying to figure out ways to, to make our team the best they can be. Well, hey, we're all excited. It should be a lot of fun this year and uh, get off to a good start this week. Yeah, appreciate it. We're looking forward to it. So come out and watch these kids. I think it's going to be an exciting year for us. Head coach Bill Drykos, and they open up at the Craig Finberg Memorial down in Dillon this Friday and Saturday. Lots of great performances this past week for the Batland Bears. Let's take a look at our Student Athletes of the Week. Our student athletes of the week come from some impressive road successes this past weekend. On the soccer pitch, freshman forward Nolan Sherwood had an outstanding two-game set with three big goals. The Las Vegas native scored two goals in a 5-1 win over Northwest Christian and the game winner on Saturday against 7th-ranked Corbin University in a 1-0 victory, which was Corbin's first loss of the season. The win helped coach Richard Duffy's 20th-ranked Batland Bears to a 12-1 overall record and a cascade leading 8-1 mark. And the Rocky Volleyball squad recorded four wins this past weekend at the Davenport Tournament to win the tournament. Leading the way was senior outside hitter Aaliyah Billis out of Bozeman. 
The six foot two standout was a force in Saturday's two wins as Billis had 28 kills and 49 digs to lead her team to the title. Rocky is now 19 and four overall, a league leading five and zero in frontier play, and ranked sixth nationally. Congrats to our student athletes of the week, Nolan Sherwood in men's soccer and volleyball's Aaliyah Billis. Local businesses, large and small, are the cornerstone of Montana's communities. And at Stockman Bank, we're honored to help them grow and prosper. We serve our fellow businesses with respect, care, and a personal touch. We know a good lender is a flexible lender who treats business owners as individuals with unique needs and goals. In other words, we treat them the Montana way. It's the only way we know. Stockman Bank. Montana Banking. Pure and simple. EBMS was founded in 1980 to ensure Montana companies could provide health benefits that were both beneficial and affordable. That vision hasn't changed, it's just grown. I joined EBMS more than 20 years ago, and I'm proud to have been part of this growth. Today, more than 300 team members joined me at EBMS to offer on-site clinics, wellness, prescription programs, and a full array of benefit services. We've emerged as an industry leader and one of Montana's premier employers. Join a dynamic organization that offers career growth, exceptional benefits, and support for community involvement, EBMS. My name is Carson. Rodeo has become a very big part in my life. To win a rodeo, you gotta be really dedicated, so I have to stay in shape. I really like when you're getting done with the run, because sometimes you have the highs and your lows in rodeo, and, but when you do good, it's really a great feeling. Tobacco, in my opinion, doesn't, doesn't belong in rodeo. I mean, you can look at all the statistics, and it's just been a damaging, destructive product. Tobacco doesn't take center stage, not in my rodeo. Well, and welcome back. Joined now by second year men's and women's cross country and track and field coach Mike McLean. And uh, Mike's got a big meet this week against uh, rival MSU Billings uh, on Thursday. And we're happy to have you here, Mike, today. And uh, things have gone well. I mean, um, lots of meets, lots of travel, but uh, you're, you're, uh, things are going pretty well for the teams. Right. Teams have been working real hard. Um, have little sicknesses and injuries on the girls' side. I think we're through the worst of that. Coming on, I've got a couple of freshmen doing real well for us, Laramie. Uh, Coates is doing well. She's actually led our team in two of the meets this year. And Cassie Root coming back from a little illness, and uh, we should have her back. We'll get uh, Alex back, and we'll get uh, Alex Chase back, and then we'll get uh, Keisha Stensby back, and we should be in pretty good shape on the women's side. Um, the men's side, men are rolling pretty good. Again, a couple of Division One meets we've been in with Montana, Montana State, and that tells you pretty quickly that uh, you better get in shape, and we're, <laughs> we're moving that way. So the guys' team is looking good, Riley Rumpethal. Uh, led the team this week, Eddie Lochran right there, Isaac Pesch, a freshman, doing a great job too. You mentioned Isaac Pesch, uh, Fred Pesch, um, working on getting some eligibility things. So you have a couple guys that maybe if, right. if they could get the, the eligibility thing figured out, we'd uh, really be tough. Right, if we get Fred Pesch and um, Benson Quaich back, uh, get them eligible this week, we're going to be in real good shape. Uh, both are in real well, but again, can't score them if they're unattached. You know, when you look at a meet like this, I know you're trying to get towards the, the conference championships and, and trying to qualify for the national tournament. Is ultimately that the goal, to Absol get to the national tournament? Absolutely. The four weeks away is our Frontier Conference, and, you know, we want to be, we were ranked in the 30s, mid-30s in the country. We've got to be ranked in the, the high 20s or mid-20s if we want to get go to nationals. Um, Lewis and Clark and Carroll in our conference is obviously super tough, so we got to start closing the gap between them and get ready to to start making a move at the conference meetings. So the guys are getting in shape all the time. I don't see the girls making it to nationals this year, but uh, the guys have a real good chance, I feel, of going. If they run up to their potential and they're dropping their times all the time. A meet like this, it's a rivalry meet mm -hmm. against an NCAA Division II program. Right. Is, this, is this more about beating your rival or is this a, part of the, the ladder to try to get ready for that conference It's kind meet? of a step on the ladder. We're gonna run it four miles at the men's uh, race this week so they can actually push the pace a little harder women are going to be at 5k their regular distance uh, but just anytime you compete against the, the kids know each other real well from you know we know rob and the guys over there and they're going to be pushing pretty hard and they always like to compete you know as uh, the, the frontier conference let's talk a little bit about this you mentioned uh, carol and, and lewis clark state both highly ranked mm -hmm. nationally um, do you see the the gap close in a little bit with what you're trying to do recruiting wise right if we put everybody on the course for the same day, we're going to be in good shape by you know, closing the gap. There are some guys that can chase, and I, you know, I even think if we get Benson eligible, can beat some of those top Carroll guys, and that would obviously, you know, show the Raiders around the country that we're for real, and 
we're moving up the ladder. Yeah, what about recruiting right now? I okay. mean, you, you just don't coach practice and go to meets. I mean, right. you as a head coach are out trying to get the next year's team as well. Right, we just had a young lady in um, this week, and out of Kalispax, a young lady I used to work with, and great student, uh, 1152 miler. Those are the kind of people we need, and she's looking at the PA program here. Um, we just had a girl in the summertime out of Washington, uh, 1118, 3200 meter runner. That's big time, and that's gonna place you at nationals in NAIA, and we're hoping to get her and a little girl out of Wyoming, a great hurdler, great speed, great sprinter. There's really nothing she cannot do in the NAIA. So well, you feel good we're about that? for the signatures on the paper. Yeah. We signed, uh, I could say, Carrie Coda at a roundup. Great student. Uh, she's going to be in the 21 minutes here pretty quick and cross country, so we're looking forward to having her next year. We've got her eight, so I can use her name there. That's good, Mike. Uh, you feel good about this week's meet? Absolutely. I think it's going to be a good uh, time trial. We're going to train through it, basically. The guy's going to be out today uh, about a 10 miler, so we're ready to go. Oh, geez, 10 miles. I don't even like to drive that far. Head coach Mike McLean, uh, they'll meet MSU Billings uh, at Amon Park on Thursday. Big meet for Rocky Mountain College. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll take a look at our standings in the Frontier Conference. Ford F-150, the only pickup with a high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy body bolted to a high-strength steel frame. It's also a wake-up call for every full-size pickup in its class. No body rust, most towing, best payload, highest gas mileage. This is the Ford F-150, and every other truck is history. Now get up to $7,050 in total value on F-150. That's up to $7,050 in total value. See your local Ford store today. I'm Robbie Smith, and when you come to our dealership, you will see we all do business the Bob Smith way. We understand that in today's marketplace, you can buy online or pretty much any place to purchase your next vehicle. But at Bob Smith, we believe we can give you that next level of service, something beyond internet shopping. We provide you with the service, parts, and follow-up to make sure you're satisfied for the life of your vehicle. We are Bob Smith. At Northwestern Energy, part of delivering a bright future means being connected to all our communities. It means delivering safe and reliable power to your home while helping to power your business's success. It means actively planning for the future while investing in future generations. It means working to ensure your safety and comfort while comforting those in need. It's by working together that we're able to deliver a bright future because together we're Northwestern Energy. Well, the football team will be on the road to Caldwell, Idaho to battle the College of Idaho. That'll be Saturday, and that'll be a 1 o'clock kickoff in the state of Idaho. The men's and women's basketball teams down in Dillon at the Craig Finberg Memorial Basketball Tournaments. Soccer will be home for a pair of uh, Cascade Conference matchups on Friday and Sunday. And the volleyball team, with their second to last home activity of the season, they'll host MSU Northern on Thursday night at 7 o'clock at the Fortin Education Center on First Interstate Bank Court. Special thanks to Mike McLean and Bill Dreikosen, along with head football coach Brian Armstrong. I'm Bruce Parker. Thanks for joining us this week on The Rocky Report. We'll see you next week.